the big O rules. We have seen that big O notation provides a convenient method for expressing the asymptotic behavior of an algorithm. When the input size becomes very large, we can simplify the big O representations using the following rule. Addition constants may be ignored. For example, obviously, constant 100 would lose its significance when n becomes very large. Lower order terms may be dropped in favor of higher order terms. For example, the simplification is based on the observation that smaller order do not contribute as much to the runtime as higher order terms. The multiplication constant may be ignored. For example, this simplification is based on the observation that in analyzing an algorithm, we are interested only in relative growth rate rather than absolute. This is shown in the graph. In-depth runtime analysis. So far, we have examined the asymptotic behavior of an algorithm. Sometimes it is useful to have an estimate of minimum, average, and maximum runtime. These possibilities are referred to as best case, average case, and worst case. Best case analysis. Best case analysis is meant to determine the minimum runtime of an algorithm. The execution time, of course, depends on the nature of input data. One or more of the inputs may result in the shortest time. For example, in a searching problem, the most favorable input would be the input value which matches the very first item in the list. In a sorting problem, the best case would be when the items in a list are already in sorted order. Best case analysis, though informative, has little practical value because in solving a problem we are often more interested in knowing the maximum time required for the solution. Worst case analysis In worst case analysis, the maximum runtime is determined by considering the most unfavorable input. For example, in a searching problem, we determine the maximum search time by assuming that the item to be searched would occur at the end of a list. Thus, worst case analysis yields the most pessimistic time estimate. It provides the upper bound in the runtime and guarantees that, in all circumstances, the runtime would never exceed this limit. For such reasons, algorithm analysis is most often done on worst case basis for most unfavorable inputs. Average case analysis. The average case analysis is done to find the average runtime of an algorithm. Quite obviously, the average time lies somewhere in between the optimistic and pessimistic time. For example, in searching problems, the average time would be the runtime when the input values lie somewhere in the middle of a list. For most problems, however, an average time can be determined by considering a distribution of input data over the entire range of admissible values. Such an analysis relies on probability theory. In general, average case analysis is more complex. Space analysis. The space analysis is concerned with determining the maximum storage requirement needed for an algorithm. The analysis in essence estimates the number of bytes as function of input size. Since variable and constants occupy fixed amount of storage which do not depend on the size of problem, thus space required is expressed as O of 1. The space requirement for complex data structure is estimated by counting the number of bytes for each data item. For example, an array of integer of size n would require 4n bytes, assuming that an integer requires 4 bytes. Thus, the space complexity of the array is O of n. In some cases, there may be trade-off between runtime and storage requirement. An algorithm with small runtime 
may require large storage space. For example, sorting of a large data file stored on secondary storage can be performed more effectively in shorter time by using a very large memory space in the main storage of a computer.